Mounted Games, a fast-paced, exciting and exhilarating equestrian sport that combines many different skills. Speed. Teamwork. Concentration. Celebration. Sportsmanship. The International Mounted Games Association was formed in 2003 and now has members in 20 countries on four continents. Mounted Games is played by men, women, boys and girls of all ages, with many starting at a very early age and some continuing well into their 40s and beyond. Ponies must not exceed 15 hands or 1 meter 52 centimeters, but other than that any breed, shape or color is permitted. The best mounted games ponies are fast, agile and above all, love to race. In total there are 31 different races which are split across individual, pairs and team competitions. A team consists of five riders and five ponies with four running in each race. Mounted games is played on a grass or all-weather surfaced area which is at least 128 meters long and has a width of 14 meters plus an additional 9 meters for each lane. The number of lanes used can vary between 3 and 8 depending on the type of competition. The playing area is 55 meters long and is enclosed by the start line at one end and the changeover line at the other. Behind the start line there is the penalty box. Only the next rider to go may enter this area. At the back of the arena, you'll find the security box where no ponies are allowed to stand still, thereby creating a safe passage for finishing riders to slow down. In some races, all four riders will start at the start line. It's in the toolbox on the way home and he does a fantastic job but a lovely, lovely change there for England. It's England taking up the running now from France. In other races, two riders will start from the start line and two riders will start from the changeover line, finishing at opposite ends. The equipment positions in the arena are marked out. In the event that any equipment is knocked off its mark, it must be replaced by the rider to avoid elimination. The ponies are highly regarded in mounted games and their welfare comes above everything else. This applies both in and out of the arena. I'm Peter Dale, I'm the uh, chief referee for the International Mounted Games Association. Uh, I am a vet as well and we've been involved with the International Mounted Games Association to uh, try and reach a balance between rider and horse. Uh, we've produced graphs for uh, trying to assess ability of riders with size of riders and size of ponies. Welfare of ponies and riders is paramount in the, in the arena. That's pretty much the job of the chief referee to see fair play but also to see that everything is looked after. Every person's looked after and particularly every pony's looked after. 
My name is Andrew Gibson. Um, I'm a qualified paramedic and I've been involved with Mounted Games internationally and uh, through Great Britain uh, for a number of years. Um, we're involved in a lot of equestrian sports throughout the UK and Mounted Games take it very seriously. Um, their health and safety and provide paramedic services for each and every competition. Hi, I'm Jonas Album. I am from Gothenburg in Sweden and I'm the Norwegian national trainer. My name is Frida and I'm the Swedish national team trainer. I've been a trainer for 18 years actually. I've been the national trainer of Norway. This is my second year. I got in the national team a couple of times and then I just started to train other clubs and here I am. Uh, as a trainer, I like building teams. I think that's fantastic. Uh, to get a team together and get them to work, build the orders, uh, pick out the riders, the ponies, and then get it right. It's the uh, perfect thing. When you've been, you've been training for something, something for a long time and you, you go down here at the World Championships and you get it right and you win the race, it's just fabulous. Oh, it's really so much fun. Uh, it's a lot of speed, it's action. You will stumble a lot of times before you get it right and you need to be persistent in finding the right pony and uh, you need, need to have a drive. Sometimes a bit of luck to finding that pony. Uh, a brave rider who doesn't give up, always trying. That's the best one. Then there's different ponies of course. There, there's the more stable ones as well that you, you need on the team but uh, basically they should enjoy what they do as much as the riders. Uh, quick and uh, yeah, just quick and smart. It has to love to run. I mean, you can basically learn it anything, but if it doesn't love to run, then you can't really push it to do it. It has to love running, I would have to say that. Okay, we'll hold off on Mounted that. Games encourages friendship between people from different nations, and the international Mounted Games community is spread far and wide. My name is Quentin, I'm 27 years old and I'm riding in the French national team. So my name's Sabine Ware, I'm 24 years old and I'm riding for the Australian Mounted Games team. My name is Stephen Charlie, um, I'm from Edinburgh and I ride for the Scottish national team and I'm 28. My name is Amy Bento, I'm 21 years old and I'm riding for the New Zealand team. Hi, I'm uh, Hugh Whitney, I'm a senior Welsh team member. So my name is Maury Crookshanks and I'm 22 and I'm on the Canadian national team. What I love about Mounted Games, well, it's, it's a big family. Everyone comes together, we travel all over the world. I've done a lot of traveling in my life and I've stayed with families from all around the world when I've been to America, Australia, wherever I've been. And that's only through friendships that I've created and made through Mounted Games and I've grown up with it and I couldn't live without it. I really love the atmosphere. Um, I find it almost like a big family um, and that, as I've discovered, um, happens obviously internationally as well. So you come here and everyone's very welcoming and you sort of make friends right from the start and it's, I find it a very good sport to be a part of. I love the camaraderie and I love competing above all. Basically, as soon as I started growing up, my uh, dad gave me a rugby ball, my mum gave me a horse and uh, my older sisters have all done Mounty Games. So um, I've been started doing Mounty Games from the age of about 10 and uh, obviously right the way through to now. Uh, at the beginning it was a different sport in France because it was a lot of Olympic Games and I wanted to do something funnier. The people you meet in Mounty Games are absolutely brilliant. They've got such good personalities, really nice people, know how to have a laugh and when it comes down to the serious stuff, you know, they're very competitive at the same time. You know, I'm still thinking of winning the World Championship. One day, doesn't matter if it's teams or Indies or pairs. I would love in teams because it's uh, mountain games is about team. I suppose my favourite mountain games game is the four flag because it involves the speed of the horse and then it involves the horse and the rider calming each other down and riding together and getting it together at the right time and being 
in one with each other to be able to put it in such a small little hole, the flag in such a small little hole. It's, for me, the epitome of horse and rider working together, which I really enjoy is working with my horse. My favourite game is jousting race. I just, I just love the changeover. It's so much fun, it's really fast. I've competed in Wales, Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, England, uh, Norway, Northern Ireland, France, Geneva and Switzerland, Canada, America, Denmark, uh, Germany and Belgium. Yeah, all over the world. There's nothing better. And you get to travel the world and meet new people and, oh, wow. If you'd like to know more about Mounted Games, visit us at www.mounted-games.org forward slash IMGA. If there isn't yet a branch of Mounted Games in your country and you'd be interested in starting one, why not contact us at imga.development at mounted-games.org and we'd be happy to explain how our organisation works and just how easy it can be to join the global community of this breathtaking sport.